Um, Sunsteel Defender. Oh, man. Yeah, that may be sad as well. Sunsteel Defender getting the boot. I mean, that makes a bit more sense because Sunsteel Defender is so good that it probably restrains design space a little bit for other 4-drops. Um, I haven't been given the final details on that end yet. Oh, no worries. Um, I would. I look forward to the Reddit post when you find out. If, uh... Right, this hand is super reactive and deadly, but we do still have Sunrise on turn 1 into Shrug. So I can do Sanctify plus Fortified Assault to kill a 2-3. Which is not amazing. It does make a bunch of heal tiles. I kind of need some card draw. So maybe I'll replace these to make sure that I can deal with that. It lets me kill a Mana Forger, a Lantern Fox kind of thing. Oh my god. <laughs> it's the worst hand I've ever seen. Right, where do I want this healing tile and where do I want this Sunforge Mystic? I could put him here. And threaten to take this middle mana tile, which means if my opponent isn't playing minions, I'll have a bit more kind of forward momentum. And putting a healing tile in the center is rarely a bad idea. I don't actually need either of these mana tiles, so I sort of like being able to take the middle one. Although, to be fair, as far as my opponent knows, I do actually have other minions in my hand and can play something there anyway. No, I actually like that. I'm going to do this. Do I sanctify it now? No, I don't. <clears throat> Although I might regret that if she kills it and plays a 2-3. Maybe I should have played on Phoenix Fire as well. Ooh. You're going to Phoenix Fire me in the face on turn one. I'm Zeran. Don't do that. Um... Well, the Reddit post, OMG, why are you guys doing this? <laughs> yeah, it was very sad. Um, I I think rotation itself is uh, going to be fantastic for the game, though. We do need stuff like that. Right, basically none of these removal spells do anything in this matchup. But she may have Lantern Fox or Geomancer, so this is better than Fortified Assault. <laughs> That's a good draw. Um... I think. <laughs> so I can do Sanctify. I can punch this, Sanctify this, move forward, attack my opponent in the face, and then play Vitriol and get six face damage. And that starts the race off in a big way. Uh, this will be a 2-3 post-Sanctify, so it doesn't instantly die, which means we might be able to hold the Immolation it for even more damage. That sounds great. Let's do that. Very Like, this is kind of... A, this is not the greatest play the world has ever seen. Uh, in fact, it feels pretty dumb doing this, but... My hand is blank, and killing my opponent is quite good. Um, oh, oh, amazing. That's a great draw. And we can play a rocket up tarot or something. I don't like shadow versus rotation. Every set rotates like in magic. Um, so. Oh my. Direct Phoenix fire to the dome. No hesitation. Oh, she's just clearing the vitriol. Sure. Well, I think the. Afterglow is the obvious play here. I actually think I want to play my Sunforge Lancer aggressively. Because I'm, I'm not going to spend that much time hitting my opponent in the face here. Damn it. Um, so I think we actually do... This. And then pass, I guess. So 
Centilla. Bit of an awkward draw. Next turn hopefully involves holy immolation. If my opponent stays where she is, I can punch her in the face with myself as well and clear the mask. Or if she somehow doesn't kill either of these creatures. But I consider that unlikely. Um, there's a higher strain on the designers, I'd imagine. Each block has to be able to sustain itself instead of working off a foundation of cards. Double Ghost Lightning? I mean... That's sort of okay, because now she has no cards. I know she's still got three, because they all cycle. Boo. And she still has this up. I mean... That's not terrible. I'm going to position like this to maximize the odds that I can hit her in the face next turn. Stop drawing point removal against Mantra. Boo. Bad deck. Um, at least she's only got three cards, so I'm probably not dead. Okay. Onyx Bear Seal on my Scintilla. That's kind of sensible, I guess. Given what she's actually doing. Okay, so she has a Petal Flurry in hand. Uh, right. Let's get rid of this Blood Rage Mask. With some Immolation of Holiness. I can Fortify to Assault this if I want to get a Healing Tile. Might be a good idea, because then I can block my opponent in completely. Uh, I can do that anyway, can't I? Uh, and I get an extra Healing Trigger off Zeran, which actually isn't relevant. No, I have no need to do that. Let's replace... She can't play a Geomancer next turn. She has to kill the Azza Herald first. Which is relatively difficult. Although she might be able to teleport into space with the thing. I guess this is just more efficient than Martyrdom. Although Martyrdom I can use to heal myself. That's probably better. Fine. Um, so... Base. Base. Unfortunately, I'm obliged to attack my opponent here, but at least it's for lots of damage. Um. Oh my god. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> right, do we have lethal next turn? We do not. We're two off. So we can get there if we draw... So, well, in, if we draw Sunforge Lancer and have 10 mana somehow, well, then we can get there. Uh... Alright, she's cycling. That's good. She's gonna Mantra. She's gonna Mantra. Nope, that's no mana. She's just cycling. Uh, where are we? Ooh. In Magic, they do reprints and four reprints, though. They make the same card over and over. Sometimes there's a different name. That is, I don't think that actually makes that much difference. I mean, it saves on design resource, I guess. Um. Ooh. More damage. Ha! That's funky. Wait, this is lethal. What am I talking about? I miscounted last time and thought it was two off instead of one off. Um, hey, Moosin234, thanks for joining. 